Hey guys and welcome to Azuru Plays Coffee Talk. So we just had an emergency where Henry and Rachel along with Gollop got taken to the hospital because something happened to Henry. I wonder that whether he's okay or maybe he got in a fight with Lester. That'd be quite cool. Shout out to all the dads. Um, if you are enjoying the series make sure you subscribe and like the video to let me know and I look forward to showing you what's going to happen today in Coffee Talk. Um, today's articles regard um, address, I guess. Fight broke out during Coachella. Culprits in police custody. Despite the arrest, Coachella will go on. Police raid on private Coachella after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. Ooh. Can I just say I really like um, the fox on Freya's um, phone case? This little orange thing. I think they're adorable. Welcome. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone's safe and sound tonight? So far, so good, officer. With the cop who's supposed to be watching this area hanging out in our coffee shop? I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's what I said, it requires skill. Anyway, Emma, I really need an espresso to keep me awake tonight. Got it. And then an energetic espresso to keep an officer upright on patrol. Hehe, <laughs> you only have a sense of humor. Your espressos are always out of the squad. Just like the stories in the Evening Whispers that Freya writes. So, part three. Happily ever after, uh, ever after, ever after, part three. Romeo comes awake with a gasp, his mind already whirling as he tries to make sense of what's happening. Was it just a dream, he thinks? Please forgive him, dear readers, he's barely awake. He has no idea how or when he got home, and but he's still wearing yesterday's clothes and his experiences the unwashed comfort feeling that comes to waking up after fully asleep, fully dressed. Then he remembers, Juliet, what happened to her? He riffles through the blankets and pockets until he finds his cell phone and immediately fires off a message to her. He won't admit it, will barely remember it through the haze of panic, but he spends the next 14 minutes and 10 seconds staring fixed, fixedly at it until it vibrates in his hand and he drops it to the floor. Romeo, Julia's voice is muffled by the carpet, but he doesn't think he's ever been so relieved to hear it. Where are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. What about you? I'm okay. We need to talk. Something's definitely different. Romeo's opened his mouth to agree before he even realises how he feels. He's been so weighed down by his feelings for so long that he hadn't noticed something changed until Julia boy up. Waking up has been bad for so long, but today, today he feels different. Today he feels good. When Romeo arrives at the coffee shop, Julia is already there. She waits while he orders an Americano, patiently sipping her orange juice until he joins her. So, Romeo says as he seats himself opposite Julia, what happened last night? She shrugs and shakes her head, the picture of an honest confusion. I'm not sure, I, but I feel kind of light when I wake up this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way of describing it. I feel like a part of me is missing. She nods in agreement. And they're quiet for a time. Juliet plays with a straw and the paper melting quickly in the ice ice remains of a drink. Do you? She trails off and tries again. Do you actually remember what happened last night? Kind of? Romeo frowns and grimaces. I'm not sure though. How do you feel about me now? Asked Juliet. He pauses to consider. I don't know. I still like you. A lot in fact. But it's certainly a different feeling to the last few months. That's exactly how I feel. He sighs explosively. What the hell happened? Juliet leans in, holds his gaze, lowers her voice. I'm not sure myself, but I have this theory. Maybe. And I know it sounds wild, but hear me out. Just maybe the part of us that fell in love with the other somehow left us last night. They separated themselves from the world, making their own where time loops on an exact moment over and over and over again. Romeo looks her in the eye without blinking for a long moment, then bursts out laughing. You're a complete mad woman, you know that? That's that's just, you're not even the one who likes sci-fi and fantasy. Sh oh, shut it, boyo. She huffs at him and crosses her arms as she leans back. No, no, seriously. He waves a hand at her. The fact that your theory came out of your mouth is crazier than the theory itself. 
her lip twitches and then she's laughing with him and for a glorious moment the air is filled with pure and uncomplicated good humour. When the laughter di winds down, they each find that they can't stop grinning at each other and it's beautiful and just like how it used to be. A thought occurs to Romeo and he opens his mouth and Julia immediately points a finger at him. Shut up. He closes his mouth but keeps grinning, <laughs> his hands held up in surrender. You can't say it's not possible though. She defends herself with a fry shrug. Romeo tells his head, nothing is impossible. So what now? What now what? I mean, what happens to us now? He looks around and shrugs. We just live normally and I guess it's just been months, if not eons, since I could talk with you, could talk to you normally like this. And honestly, it feels awesome. She laughs and it's so much easier than it has been in a long time. Yeah, yeah, I know. She smiles at him. So we're good then. We're better than good, I guess, answers Romeo. Good point, Juliet nods. Well made. After that, life goes on for Romeo and Juliet. They're still good friends. They both found their loves, the ones who share their interests that doesn't force them to sacrifice too many things in life, yet still makes them feel like the happiest person on earth. They grow old together as good friends, not as lovers. And what about Romeo and Juliet who burn with love for each other? Well, readers, I'll tell you that. That couple is still sitting on their bench in the park on that clear and perfect night, and they'll stay there until the end of time. They've created their own world without other people meddling, judging, forcing, compromises. Forcing compromises. Sorry, I thought that was a comment there. For the rest of eternity, they'll have each other and their pure love. Naive, young love. And nothing will ever change that. Some people say that on a clear night with the promise of dawn rain, when the Milky Way flows across the sky and the full moon hangs low, you can see a young couple sitting on the bench in the park. But only out of the corner of your eye, and only if you've room for the romance in your soul. Is it true you ask me? Doesn't matter, I reply. Surely, it doesn't matter to anyone on earth, and it certainly does not matter to them. Ooh, amazing. Checking the Tom and show for the update. So we've got Rachel, Fun Luck Ter 3, um, her third one, which is for close friends, and we find out that she is, she loves the family, cats, milk, and you. And she's been dancing, singing, and trying to achieve her dreams since she was 13, and she's not stopping now. Amazing. And then Hendry, his favorite things are family music and trying to be a better father while running a record store. Very nice. And this is what we discovered yesterday. We've got two more coffees, two more teas, two more green teas, two more specials, hot chocolates, and then a bunch of milk drinks that you've not tried. Your expresses are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine or my wife's. It's not a competition officer. <laughs> it's just for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last few days, right? Yes, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me a first-hand experience to use in my story. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh yeah. How's it going? Quantity-wise, it's shaping up pretty well. Quality-wise, honestly, I'm pretty confident. Best of luck then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? For the werewolf case? I spoke to Gala about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the present... Precinct? 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 I have no clue how to say that word. That is difficult. <laughs> We're talking about it. And in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped a lot that night. He, we asked the folks in the hospital and some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have had a lot more problems. He helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't lock himself up in time. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So, those who'd rather detain him can't do anything anyway. Phew. 
I'd be pretty mad at you if you did arrest him. Hey, being mad at me wouldn't solve anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any ideas what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Carcello. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far, but he wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that estate. So far, that's all I know. Oh, it's Rachel. Hey, Rachel. Rachel, is Mr. Hendry all right? Before that, could I have a cup of hot chocolate, Doc? Oh, that's a little light, isn't it? That's not... I messed up. That's it. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. That's going to be fine. He woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Rala. Ah, oh, he got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's doing okay then? It'll take a few days before he fully recovers, but no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know. But still, it's all because of me. Because I didn't want to listen to him, when all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please, don't take offence. But is it okay for you to leave your father in the hospital alone? His friends are there at the moment, and I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really need to get away for a bit. So I told my dad I'm going to visit Coffee Talk to get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel. What really happened last night? Dad got in a fight with some thugs. He had them talking about me and in some very suggestive, perverted ways. Oh. He didn't like that, of course. So he morphed into his cat form and started to fight the thugs. Why did he morph? So people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene and they found some eyewitnesses to testify and they managed to find the thugs. Are they fans of yours? No. That, it, that's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester. What? Oh boy. The reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Whoa. How did it all connect up? They're Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling off the show, having a pre-party before the big one. And you know about guys and the locker room talk, right? Yeah, well, that's what they were doing, but I was the topic of discussion. Uh, so there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owed Dad for... Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. I should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he is my father. I wish mum was here. She'd know what to do. She'd know what to say to dad when he's recovered. You know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? But I don't know. All I know is how to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear it hear it about coming there. Yeah. It might be weird to hear it about something coming from Freya, but she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, you can come here and relax for a while. Oh, Guys. Thank you. I've had enough fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Emma. Man, what a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend.
but overall, things are still safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Thank you for checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay then, see you. Are you going to leave as well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm? Alright. I won't bother you then. Oh, you're never a bother. Besides, the whole book project would have never existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you don't need to spend any more time on chit chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. And that is the end of this episode. Thank you so much for joining me in Coffee Talk and finishing off Romeo and Juliet's story. We kind of got some closure about Henry and Rachel and we even got to see Georgie again, which is great. I'm looking forward to finding more about Niall and Gala and Hyde. I was kind of expecting Gala and Hyde to have um, their arc finish after that little fury drama, but I'm guessing it would be cool to experience it later on in the game it is really nice how each character has had some great character development i think that's really important in part of the story and it shows you how people mature and how people grow it's kind of inspirational because it also makes you reflect on yourself and think about how you can grow and change if you have recently experienced some growth i would love to hear about it down below Make sure you follow me on Twitter to stay tuned of when I post my next episodes and what series I'm looking to play. Um, apart from that, make sure you like and subscribe to make sure that, that I know that you are enjoying my content and I shall see you all in the next episode of Coffee Talk.